All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these times that we're in. Now, today I want to discuss about walking in strength and courage. You know, it's very important to be bold and step out on faith more than ever today because we live in a very fearful society. We live in a society where fear mongering is a number one tactic out here. And this society wants you to walk in fear and doubt with anxiety and worries and no assurance of anything, you know, and God has called us to be full of strength. God has called us to be full of faith. God has called us to have a sound mind and to walk in love and strength and courage because he called us to be bold and courageous. And we have to always stand strong on our views and our beliefs. And we truly have to never get weak, man. We never have to we never have to walk around feeling weak or feeling like we can't accomplish things, okay? You know, we have to really walk by faith and not by sight. And we have to stand strong on everything that we do out here. You know, you shouldn't be scared to take a risk. You shouldn't be scared to fail. You shouldn't be scared to lose. You know, everything is a lesson. You shouldn't be scared to get into debt or invest in yourself or invest in your future. Okay, you shouldn't be scared to, you know, find new love or, you know, find a new person in your life, okay? Because the thing with fear is that a lot of people have fearful things because of their past experiences. And people tend to walk in fear because they don't want to repeat the same mistakes or they don't want to repeat the same results. But you can't live your life like that, okay? Your past is the past. You can't do nothing about that. You can only learn from it and move on from it, okay? When you're walking in faith, you're walking in strength, you're walking in boldness and courage, you're not even caring about what ifs, you know? You're walking around like, I know I'm going to get this done. I know things are going to be great. I know I'm going to manifest this. You feel me? You got to have that bold approach to everything. You got to have that mighty spirit, you know? God did not call us to be doubtful people. He called us to be mighty, strong people. You know, we got to really know our worth and our value out here. And if you walk in fear, you'll never know your worth or your value like that, okay? It takes a lot of strength and a lot of boldness to know your, your worth and your value. And to not just reach your potential, but surpass it. You know what I'm saying? So... We got to always remember that courage is everything. Strength is everything. That's what's going to keep us stable in these times that we're in, you know. We need that assurance and that, that, that firm. We need to be firm and strong in all of our areas of our lives, you know. This is not a time to walk around wondering about things or doubting things or questioning things, you know. Times are so critical and hard out here that we have no option but to take risks from now on. This pandemic has basically forced us out of our comfort zone. It's forced us and tested us. It tested our character. It tested our hearts. It tested our work ethic. It's testing us mentally. So now it's like, how do we do with times like this? How do we go through these hardships, right? You have to go through it by being bold. That's really the only option, to be honest, all right? So I want to do a few, I want to read a few um, scriptures about courage and strength and just go from there. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not tremble or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The book of Psalm, chapter 27, verse 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or tremble at them, for the Lord your God is with you. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. The book of Psalm, chapter 31, verse 24. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 16, verse 13. Be on the alert. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6. Be strong and courageous, for you shall give this people possession of the land, which I swore to their fathers to give them. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 7. But you, be strong and do not lose courage, for there is reward for your work. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 7. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you may have success wherever you go. The book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 27. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 19. He said, O man of high esteem, do not be afraid. Peace be with you. Take courage and be courageous. Now, as soon as he spoke to me, I received strength and said, 
May my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. The book of First Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 20. Then David said to his son Solomon, Be strong and courageous and act. Do not fear nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, for the Lord God, my God is with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you, you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. The book of Ezra, chapter 10, verse 4. Arise, for this matter is your responsibility, but we will be with you. Be courageous and act. The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 10, verse 12. Be strong and let us show ourselves courageous for the sake of our people and for the cities of our God. And may the Lord do what is good in his sight. The book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 4. Say to those with an anxious heart, Take courage, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. The recompense of God will come, but he will save you. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8. We are of good courage. I say I prefer rather to be absent from the body and to be at home with the Lord. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of timidity to be timid, to be fearful, but of power and love and discipline and a sound mind. The book of John, chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. The book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 13. Now as they observed the confidence of Peter and John, and understood that they were uneducated and untrained men, they were amazed and began to recognize them as having been with Jesus. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 6. So that we confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. The book of Haggai chapter 2 verse 4. But now take courage, Zerubbabel, declares the Lord. Take courage also, Joshua, son of Jehoshadak, the high priest and all you people of the land. Take courage, declares the Lord, and work for I am with you declares the Lord of hosts. The book of Joshua, chapter 10, verse 25. Joshua then said to them, Do not fear or be dismayed. Be strong and courageous, for thus the Lord will do to all your enemies with whom you fight. The book of Joshua, chapter 2, verse 11. When we heard it, our hearts melted, and no courage remained in any man any longer because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and on earth beneath. The book of Psalm, chapter 18, verse 39. For you have girded me with strength for a battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. The book of Acts, chapter 27, verse 25. Therefore, keep up your courage, men, for I believe God that it will turn around exactly as I have been told. The book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 6. Each one helps his neighbor and says to his brother, be strong. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 18. Anyone who rebels against your command and does not obey your words and all that you command him shall be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. The book of Psalm chapter 138 verse 3. On the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold with strength in my soul. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 6. Therefore, being always of good courage and knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. So as you can see. It's very important that we walk in courage, y'all, and that we be bold and strong because God called us to be that. All right. All right. The book of Psalm, chapter 138, verse three. On the day I called, you answer me. You made me bold with strength in my soul. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 14. Can your heart endure or can your hands be strong in the days that I will deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken and will act. The book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 6. Each one helps his neighbor and says to his brother, be strong. The book of Micah, chapter 3, verse 8. On the other hand, I am filled with power, with the spirit of the Lord, and with justice and courage, to make known to Jacob his rebellious act, even to Israel his sin. The book of Isaiah, chapter 41, the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 1. 
You, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 10. If you are slack in the day of distress, your strength will be limited. The book of Joshua, chapter 2, verse 11. When we heard it, our hearts melted, and no courage remained in any man any longer because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and on earth beneath. The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 5. A wise man is strong, and a man of knowledge increases power. The book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verse 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 6. A spirit of justice for him who sits in judgment, a strength to those who repel the onslaught at the gate. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 30, verse 6. Moreover, David was greatly distressed because the people spoke of stoning him for all the people who were embittered, each one because of his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. The book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 20. According to, my, according to my earnest expectation of hope that I will not be put to shame in anything, but that with all boldness, Christ will even know, as always, be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. The book of Judges, chapter 6, verse 14. The Lord looked at him and said, Go, and this is go, and this is your strength, and deliver Israel from the hand of Midian. Have I not sent you? The book of 2 Samuel, chapter 12, chapter 10, verse 12. Be strong and let us show ourselves courageous for the sake of our people and for the cities of our God. And may the Lord do what is good in his sight. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 23. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden for three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's edict. The book of Philippines, chapter 1, verse 28. In no way alarmed by your parents, which is a sign of destruction for them, but of salvation for you, and that too from God. Let's see. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 through 9. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not despairing, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. So as you can see throughout the Old and New Testament, the scripture tells us how we should always stand strong and stand firm. And be bold and mighty for God. How we always have to trust in the Lord and rely on him and his word. And have that full confidence in the most high. You see, strength and courage is everything, y'all. And we're going to need that. We're going to need that more than ever, okay? We have to step up. We have to rise up. And we have to, you know, do our best in every situation that we're in, no matter what. Because these times today are so critical. And a lot of us are getting tested in different ways. So now the question is... How are we going to approach these tests? Are we going to approach these tests and these situations through emotions and fear and unassurance? Or are we going to walk in faith? We're going to walk in boldness. We're going to walk in courage like God commanded us to, right? God has commanded us to step out on faith. God has commanded us to take a leap of faith. God has called us to do so much great, mighty things for him. That's going to have to get us out of our comfort zone, okay? It takes a lot of strength and boldness to get out of our comfort zone, right? God is going to call us to do mighty things for it in front of people that don't like us, in front of people that don't look like us, that in front of people that don't understand us. You see what I'm saying? God is going to draw us out, and he's going to call us out to do so many different things that I'm telling you, it's going to blow our minds, you know? So our strength and our courage is everything, all right? Do not be fearful. Do not be scared. Do not be doubtful. Do not walk around with no faith, all right? That's not a way to live, all right? Walking in anxiety and fear is not the way to go. I'm letting y'all know right now, all right? So let's have that strength and courage, y'all. Let's be bold. I pray to God that whoever listens, much as I pray that you get baptized, that you start your life over for the Lord. I pray that you get new beginnings. I pray that God gives you a new strength. I pray that God renews your strength. I pray that God makes your cup run over. I pray that the Lord just covers all areas of your life. And I pray that things get better. And I pray that you actionize things better. I pray that you manifest things better. I pray that you cut off bad habits and that you move on to big things, all right? Because you deserve it. You owe it to yourself. Of course, you owe it to the Lord, but on a personal level, you owe it to yourself, all right? You've been walking in fear for way too long. You've been walking faithless for way too long. It's time for that to stop, all right? I'm Jarvis Kingston. God bless y'all. Peace.